What's up you guys? My name is Aubrey and this is my channel and today we're going to be talking about a very, very important stimulus that is being implemented next month. Now starting in a few weeks, you will have the ability to claim potentially thousands of dollars depending on how many kids you have. And this is coming up very, very quickly. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how to ensure that you get the money that you were owed for the stimulus, what you need to know in the next few weeks and how you can be prepared come July. So let's get started. Now, the American Rescue Plan was signed into law in March, and this was a plan brought forward by President Joe Biden, and it was signed into law by lawmakers. Now, in this plan was something called the Child Tax Credit. And what this is, is this is a tax credit given to parents or to guardians on behalf of the children that are their dependents. Now, how this works is that with this child tax credit, if you qualify, you will receive $3,000 for children ages six to 17, and you will receive $3,600 for children five and below. It is estimated that over 39 million families will benefit from this tax credit. And depending on how many children you have and the ages of these children will dictate how much you could get. For example, if you have two children that are below the age of five, you would receive $7,200 in this example. If you had one child that was aged 14, you would receive $3,000. If you had four children, three above six and one below six, in this example, you would receive $12,200. Now I could go on and on with the different variations of what you could expect and how much money you could receive through the child tax credit, but I think you guys get the point by now. Basically, if you have a child that's below the age of six, you get $3,600. If you have a child that is six or above, you get $3,000. And you multiply that number by however many children you have in those specific age groups and that will dictate how much you will get. Now the way that this program is going to work is that the program is actually going to be split into two different parts. You will receive 50% of the payment for the child tax credit next April whenever you file your 2022 taxes. So in the example of one child who is four years old, you would receive $3,600 in total. Half of that, so $1,800, would be distributed to you next year when you file your 2021 taxes. And the way that this is going to work is this payment is actually going to be split into two parts, and you're gonna receive your payment in two different ways. The first way is you're gonna receive 50% of the payment comes tax time next year in 2022, whenever you're filing your 2021 taxes. So let's say for example that you have one four-year-old child. Well, you will receive $3,600 on behalf of that child and you will receive 50% of that, so $1,800 next April whenever you file your 2021 taxes. The other 50% will begin being distributed to you next month starting July 15th and it will be distributed out to you in monthly payments between July and December of 2021. So again, using that same example, if you have one child that is four years old, you would receive 50% of that payment next year in a lump sum. You would receive the other 50% of that payment in monthly installments between July and December, which totals out to be about $300 per month in this example, and you would begin receiving payments starting July 15th. Now that we're refreshed as to what this child tax credit is, how much you could receive, and roughly how the program works, now begs the question of, well, what's next? And what do you need to do in order to ensure that you get these payments? Well, number one is you need to make sure that you filed your taxes. If you haven't filed your taxes, this will cause issues, it will cause delays, and it could potentially disqualify you from receiving these payments. So you need to make sure to have filled out your taxes and make sure that you have an accurate address listed on your taxes. Now, the IRS did actually come out this past week and they made a statement in regard to the child tax credit. And they stated that for the child tax credit, you just need a valid address. It doesn't actually have to be your address. Address. So unlike stimulus checks, for example, which had a lot of issues being distributed because of address discrepancies, this will not be the case with the child tax credit. And if you're somebody that is moving around a lot, if you're in between houses, if you're not exactly sure where you will be between this time and the end of the year, you can actually put an address down of anybody that you trust, whether that is a friend, a family member, a relative, whatever the case is. Other than that, there actually really isn't a whole lot to do. Between now and July 15th, the IRS will be releasing two portals. These two portals are going to serve two different functions. The first portal that's gonna be released is going to be for people that are gonna opt out of the monthly payments. You have the ability to opt out of the monthly payments and instead just simply receive the funds in a lump sum next April when you file your taxes. 
In this instance, instead of getting monthly payments between July and the end of the year, you would simply receive one large payment next April. The second portal that will be released will be for people who traditionally do not file your taxes. So if you're somebody that has not filed taxes in the past or you didn't file taxes this year for 2020, then this is the portal that you'll want to look out for. This is how you will sign up for the child tax credit even if you have no tax records. Now these two portals, specifically the second one, is crucial to ensuring that you get the right amount of money, that you get the money in the way in which you want to get it, and that you are actually eligible for the funds as well. Now one other thing that I would like to know is the fact that it's incredibly important to keep in mind that if you're somebody that has had a child in 2021, you unfortunately will not be eligible for the monthly payments. Instead, you will simply just receive the child tax credit next year when you file your taxes. So for example, my sister has a four month old daughter that was born in February. As a result, my sister will not be getting any monthly payments between July and December because of the fact that my niece was not claimed on my sister's taxes in 2020. So as far as the IRS goes, they don't even know that my niece exists. And because of that, she will not get the monthly child tax credit payments. But next year in 2022, whenever my sister files her 2021 taxes, once she claims my niece is a dependent, once the IRS knows my niece exists, she will then get paid out that $3,600 for my niece. And this is the same case for any of you that have had children at some point in 2021. Now again, these payments are going to begin to be distributed July 15th. We should see these two portals being released by the IRS within the next couple of weeks. Of course, if you guys are interested in learning whenever these portals are released, I will be covering it as soon as they open up. So stay tuned to make sure that you don't miss anything regarding the child tax credit and that you make sure to fill out these portals if you're somebody who wants to receive your money in a lump sum or if you're somebody that did not file your taxes. These two portals are the portals for you. But like always, you guys, I hope that you found this video helpful and I hope it taught you some valuable information about the child tax credit and what to expect in the next month while we wait for the first round of payments to be distributed. If you have any questions, comments, if you have anything to add, I would love to hear it. So make sure to leave a comment down below. I also wanted to remind you guys of the second channel that I just started with my fiance HP. This is a vlog style channel where we are actually taking y'all through the process of how we are growing our wealth and some of the things that we're doing with our businesses and our revenue streams. So if you guys are interested in kind of seeing content that is real time for what we are doing on a day to day basis, then I would love it and I would appreciate if you guys could subscribe to that channel. I will include a link to that up above. I will also include a link down in the description below as well. And while you guys are at it, make sure to hit the like button, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video.